breaking news alerts, and your weather authority forecast. With Doug Imblage, Norma Holland, Evan Dawson, Jennifer Johnson, and meteorologist Marty Snyder. This is 13 Pram News on Rochester CW in high definition. As you can imagine, with the big weather story this week, we've had to reshuffle some things. But we didn't want to miss this interview because, to me, this topic is totally fascinating. Uh, Peter Sacco has written a book called Niagara's Most Haunted Legends and Myths. I wanted to ask him about some of those stories in this new book. Peter is joining us by phone this morning. Good morning. Well, good morning, Jennifer. How are you? <laughs> good, thank you. Again, originally planned to have you on earlier in the week to tie in with Halloween. But, you know... We go with the flow, right? <laughs> no pun intended on an arc, probably. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you give me at least one example of a story from the book? I love this stuff. Uh, yeah. The, the book is actually looks at the whole Niagara region, both Canada and the American sides of the region, and all the haunted places. I investigated 60 spots and all, and you can actually check out pictures of it on niagarasmosthaunted.com. And some of the coolest uh, stories happen because of the War of 1812 due to the bloody battles. And some would say that this is the most haunted region in the entire part of North America, all of it. And one of the most haunted spots is right across from Buffalo on the other side in Fort Erie. Really? Oh, that fort, I'm assuming from, I, I don't know the military history there, but I assume that was tied in with the War of 1812 as well? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, the Americans were fighting the British, and one of the coolest stories at Fort Erie is, is the Americans fired a cannon. There was two British soldiers out there, and sure enough, uh, the cannonball came. One of the British soldiers had put his hands up, you know, self being in defense. The, I guess the cannonball took his hands off, and the guy behind him lost his head over it. And lo and behold, people see a headless and, haunt, uh, and handless ghost haunting Snake Hill right at Fort Erie. Now, if you fast forward that to 20 years ago, they did an excavation dig. Uh -huh. And lo and behold, they found in a grave a, two skeletons, one of a handless skeleton and one of a headless skeleton. Whoa. That's what I wanted to ask you. I mean, it, it, when you go and write this book, I mean, I love the cool, like, stuff like, you know, so-and-so okay. saw, saw such-and-such, such, but you really have to be a historian to, to make this um, all check out. Yeah, you know what, Jennifer? Actually, that's what it was. As I said, uh, a lot of this book is obviously history. I looked at daredevils who had went over the falls. Actually, Three Sister Island, which is Niagara Falls, New York, on the brink there where Nick Walenda started his walk uh -huh. over the falls. <clears throat> and if you look at these here, yeah, there is a history of people who have lost their lives or or were victimized and tragically, either the war or some other um, tragedy. And it, it actually lines up. And when we were actually out filming, uh, my camera crew, we have a TV series also called Niagara's Most Haunted. We've had a lot of glitches, uh, little things, and uh, in photography, we've actually caught a lot of orbs in haunted places. And the most, the coolest one is when we brought out a, um, a noted psychic who's got his own um, TV show. He came out there, was reading where Laura Secord's monument is on Drummond Hill in Niagara Falls. And he was looking at what he said Laura Secord was or somebody talking to him. And in the picture, sure enough, there's a orb the size of a head right over his left shoulder where he was looking. Whoa. All right, now I want to know. People ask me my favorite book, not Gone with the Wind, not Tuesdays with Maury. <laughs> it's it's a, a, a book about Gettysburg and all the ghost stories there. I want your book. Where can I get it? Um, right, if you want it immediately, uh, ironically, uh, interestingly, the first run sold out within four days. You can get it on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, in bookstores, or you can get it. Ten seconds, through, Peter. Thanks. You can get it through my website, uh, www.petersacco.com. Awesome stuff. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you thanks. soon. You too. Thanks for having me, Jennifer. I'm